Lake Mead, the largest man-made lake in the U.S., is about to reach its lowest point since the installation of the Hoover Dam in the 1930s. A lake that has full capacity close to 31 million acre feet is now at 34% capacity, lowering the water elevation from 1,229 feet to 1,067 feet. So, how did we get here? 10% of Lake Mead's water comes from precipitation and groundwater. The other 90% comes from the Colorado River, a river that stretches 1,450 miles, starting on the west slope of the Rocky Mountain National Park. It runs through Grand Junction, then Moab, and carves into Glen Canyon and the Grand Canyon until it merges into Lake Mead. The river supplies drinking water and hydroelectric power for 40 million people and irrigation for 5 million acres of farmland across seven western states and Mexico. Here is how the whole Colorado River system works. The Colorado River is dependent on the snowpacks that accumulate at the top of the Rocky Mountains from October to March. The snow then melts and runs off of the mountains into the Colorado River as temperatures begin to warm between April and July. The river flows from the upper basin, which includes Wyoming, Colorado, Utah, and New Mexico, down to the lower basin, which includes Nevada, Arizona, and California, before reaching the Gulf of Mexico. However, the Colorado River is experiencing its 22nd consecutive year of drought, with this past year being the worst drought recorded in 1,200 years, according to the Colorado River Commission of Nevada. Over the years, temperatures have increased by 2.4 degrees, which leads to less snow accumulating and melting earlier in the season. It's so warm, snow can evaporate from a solid straight to a gas, and because of the extreme drought in the past 12 months, the soil is abnormally dry, soaking up runoff like a sponge. By the time it gets down to the lower basin, it actually dries up due to all the diversion that it's been years since the Colorado River has actually flowed all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. So what is being done about the water shortage? Once again, the seven states and federal agencies find themselves renegotiating how the Colorado River should be divvied up. But in general, upper basin states which use Lake Powell to store water need to ensure there is enough to send downstream to meet their compact obligations. Lower basin states which use Lake Mead to store and manage water for municipal and irrigation use will have to come back and conserve their water. Out of the 300,000 acre feet allotment, Nevada used 255,000 acre feet and will need to give up 20 to 30,000 of their use to conserve water. With Arizona's 2.8 million acre feet and California's 4.4 million acre feet share of Lake Mead, they will have to follow a Nevada's lead in conserving and recycling water. With below average inflow for the Colorado River on the horizon, it will take a collective effort to maintain this critical water resource.